Hey, welcome to the Manchester Garden, where every few days I bring you riveting content regarding me making terrariums, talking about my bugs, or generally obsessing about moss. Today, I'm going to be turning this simple candle holder into a Halloween home for isopods. So if that's something you want to see, stay tuned, I'll be back in a sec. One of the first problems I encounter with this idea is simply how I don't want it open, but I haven't got a lid. So I'm thinking we get rid of this and start with this base and then simply turn over the top. But that gives me another few problems. Number one, this is made of wood. Which I'll have to address at some point. And number two, I'm gonna need light or things are gonna die. So I have this. It is a rechargeable LED meant for going under kitchen cupboards. It's uh, a quite a bright piece of kit. It's even got PIR on it. Um, I wanna get that in here, which unfortunately doesn't quite fit. And then I'm going to have to place this here somehow. So that's my first problem I'm going to address. So I think it's time to get out the drill. And this tiny pumpkin is the reason why I'm even making this. This is what started all. I found this in the local supermarket. And I thought, that'd be cool. We can make a Halloween terrarium. Use this tiny pumpkin, add isopods. And in a month, they will have eaten it. So I'm gonna have an attempt at carving it. No idea what I'm doing. Let's see how badly I make it. where I lose a finger. Oh. 
Wow, well, this is tough. I wasn't expecting it being this tough. Ah. It's tough. Like twist? No. It's like I have to go all the way in. If I can. Oh wow. I think these are tougher than big ones. Maybe this tiny little knife wasn't the best idea. Ah. Wow. Ah. Look at that. Oh well. Looks like I'm going to make that into something else. We shall see how arty I can be. Hopefully. Will you twist? Yes, this will twist. And on the inside, there's nothing. Oh, wow. So it looks like I'm going to have to carve out something on the inside as well. I don't think a spoon is going to do it. I don't think these guys were meant to be carved. What's in here? Oh, wow. Yeah. Well, that's isopod food, whichever way I look at it, so... I'm gonna try and get this out. Yeah, this is iffy. At least it doesn't stink. Might even try and grow these. Pretty interesting. Normally when I get random seeds, I'll throw them in a, a terrarium and see what happens. There's a, some great places to start. Wow. This is really... I'm not a big fan of the smell of pumpkin. Incidentally, my wife makes jam out of pumpkin. I've never heard of that. Must be a foreign thing. It's not something we certainly do here in England. Yeah. Heads up, it tastes okay. Not sure I'm going to get much out of that. But I think that's fine. We're not putting a candle in it, so I'm not going to worry that much. I suppose that's a, a hollow pumpkin. But I see it keeps ticking away. Um, there's not much room there to do anything, so I'm going to try a little face on here, I think. What do you reckon our chances are? Slim to none? I do. Let's have a go. His eyes. Wow. I think. Are these even going to look like eyes? I'm just going to. No idea. Ah, no idea. I think I've not cut myself yet. It's time, I suppose. I'm going to get our first one out. Who knows? Probably best pushing from the back if I can see where it was. I need a pokey stick, I think, for this. Yep. Here we go. Trusty paintbrush. Let's push this through. Ah, there we go. Hopefully. Why? Let's try and make another one. It's the same. On this side. Is that right? I think I did it like that. Another one there. If you want, you can fast forward this. I might even do that myself. Wow. Oh, got all the way through. that through and then 
try and push the eye socket out again. There we go. Well, sort of eyes. I don't have that enough. Yeah, it's not bad. Shall we give him a little? Hmm. It's gonna be the weirdest flowering pumpkin ever. It's got a little pointy teeth, I think. Yeah. In fact, I think what we'll do is just cut this out. Glue teeth on. Well, can't glue them. I have to think of some other way. I want my ice buds eating glue. Get them addicted. Start sniffing it. Next thing you know, you've got graffiti in your terrarium. So. Is it really I suggest you go and get one of these? Is it really difficult to do? Lots of fun. Shut up there. It's a bit of a deadpan emoji, isn't it? But you can't really see because. And so low down. There he goes. This looks like he's smiling, it's not really terrifying, is it? It's like somebody with no teeth smiling at you. A little old lady or something. Oh man. Let's see if we can remedy the teeth situation. I wonder if we could use the seeds. Maybe. I'm gonna make my mouth a little bit bigger and see if we can use those seeds to create some kind of teeth. Much bigger. There we go. Took that little bit out. Get all this out here. There he is. I call this one Dave. Let's see what we can do about these teeth. No way I'm gonna hold these slippy things, so probably should dry them first, but you know it is, can't be bothered. So let's uh Aha, uh -huh. these are too slippy, I think. Yep, too slippy. Way too slippy. Although they would make quite cool teeth, to be honest. Go in here. No, they won't. It's too tough. Right, I'm going to think about that. Then come back. Fix Dave's dead hygiene. So we'll see you in a minute. Okay, after a few minutes of thinking about this, I made him a bit happier. I'm going to put this tooth, which is a bit of pumpkin. In the middle of his gut here. So, he might get promoted from Dave to Cletus. The way I'm thinking I can do this is with the toothpick. So, I'm going to cut the pointy end off and place it where I want the tooth. I hope. That should just push in, shouldn't it? I think. Well, that's harder than I thought. Quite like a big pumpkin. And I'm hoping I can push this on top. Actually, I don't think I will. Let's do it the other way around. Let's put this ah, in the tooth. By the way, I did manage to cut myself. Lovely. 
there's our tooth on a stick. Hopefully. I don't think this is going to work, but I'll have a go. Maybe if we do it from the inside, I might get away with it. The frog is so tiny, that's the problem. It's not the, not the method. Oh, no, that stick will not go in. I'll have to sharpen the stick. Not easy when it's a small. Ah! Let's see if I can hold it this. This is why I don't make spears for a living. Drawing is much easier than spears. I think it's pointy on both ends. So let's pop our fact because now we've got the hole in the pumpkin. Yes, it worked. Look at this tooth sticking out of it. Wow, pumpkins are tough, man. Get in there. Ah, that looks a bit pretty to see. Where's the... Where's the pop part? Excuse me. This is so awkward. Hmm. Tooth in the middle. In fact, Siri looks like. Yep, yeah, that's what it looks like. Cool. That will do for our pumpkin. Right, back in. Been outside, I've took the base of this and I've soaked it in. Uh, a nice black stainer that's waterproof, so that should sort the wood problem out we had after giving it a sand down, of course. And now that it's drying, I thought might as well have a go at making this. So I've got more or less the things I need here. Uh, I've got some uh, 20 mm gravel for the drainage layer, I've got some charcoal, it's already crushed, and uh, a bit of fiberglass mesh, which still needs cutting. Uh, a whole host of uh, different mosses here, and uh, Bits of dead branches, I suppose they are. Uh, they might come in handy, I don't know. Uh, Cletus, of course, we have to have Cletus, because he's part of it. And uh, I was messed about with a few sticks and made, uh, made this, which is a cross. With a, used a bit of string, two bits of wood. You can figure out the rest yourself, I'm sure. Right, I'm going to go and get some substrate now to bang in there, and uh, we'll get on with it and see whatever it is we're going to make, because I've no idea. Right, before I start, I thought I'd give this a test, see what it looks like with the lid and the light. And it all seems to work out quite nice. So, that's a bonus. I hope I've got everything here. If I haven't, I may have to stop it and restart it. What I've decided to do is just waffle on during the making of this, because I don't know what I'm doing yet. It's not planned. I do know what I do have to start with, which is sub the um, drainage layer. This is quite an odd shape, so I'm just going to fill the bottom of this up, I think. Now, luckily, this is a slight camphor on this, so any excess should drain into this bottom part here anyway. Should look pretty cool, so let us. Uh, 
something I did forget. Scissors. So what I'm gonna do, just chop the corners off here. Ding. Round one. That should do. That's probably better than normal. And now I'm going to stick a bit of this uh, charcoal in here. Ah, I'll stick it all in, stop it. Right. I'm not about the chunky bits, it's fine. It's all good stuff. Now I'm going to go for the substrate. It's actually has some charcoal in it. Really awkward where I'm sat, by the way. It'd be very difficult. Now, there's no seams on this, which is pretty awesome, to be honest. I got this for three quid. And Tesco was getting rid of uh, all the non food stuff. So, bit much of a bargain, really. Stick everything in. Don't care. Don't care. I'm only putting moss in here anyway, so let's not worry about it. Put plants in. I spots will probably start chewing on them and killing them, like they always do. Depends which ice pod you use, but probably gonna put, uh, well, I know what I'm gonna put. Very appropriate for. Halloween. See if you can guess which isopod species I'm going to put in here. Or at least morph. Before I do. Let's give this a wet. Put a little damp. I'll just clean the sides anyway. Just give this a clean. Oh, listen to that. That nails down it. Blackboard. Very, very young. Blackboard is what we used to use in school. Right. That's my base. Let's try and figure out where we're putting Cletus. I want a bit of seam. Do we put them at the top? Let's just shove them in the bottom here. I think we'll put them in the bottom like that. Yeah, because he's going to disappear anyway, so I'm going to put moss there. I think on the hill. I'll probably put our cross. Let's just firm that in. Start with that. Now let's move this. As you can see. Sort of a hill. I think. Mess with this camera a bit more. Yeah. Now, let's take them out a minute. I have a seriously good chunk of moss here. Look at that. That I'm going to use. Take that bit off. And that bit. Back here. This was on a tree stump. Oh, well, this nice dome sort of shape to come out. As you see here. Yeah, I like that. It's quite good. I don't know if I'll be able to get the cross in there. Let's see. Wow, it's dense. Yeah, it's not too bad. Let's just clean this. There's a lot of clay backing on the uh, reverse of this moss. So, let's see. It's starting to look more like an Easter one. So, I just want to put some kind of uh, 
mound here with the stones. It's not in my head. So, nice piece of hit them here. It's another piece of grass, I suppose. That's what it's pretending to be. Might move that here, put the. Mm. has to sit up like that, doesn't it? Yeah. Now I've got some other mosses here. Always good to have different colours. You know, these are pretty much the same. Yeah. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. These are out for spare pin. Oh, this is like spare stuff. None of it was intended to be used. But as this is for some get rid of that. I support. I don't really care what it looks like really. Right. Okay, there, I think this will be here. We're gonna stick some of these stones. For no reason whatsoever. I suppose I haven't thought of anything else to put there. Chuck a few stones. Might be a path. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe not. Yeah. A few stones. Looks like a big graveyard. One cross. But it's not exactly a big uh, hole here. Let me get some more smaller stones here. Make a bit of a path here. And a Cletus. Let's take Cletus out in a second. I don't know if I've got a pumpkin a name. There you go. Bit of a path. Sort of. Ish. Yeah. And then stick Cletus here. And uh, we do anything with these sticks? Maybe. Yeah. Let's see how big they are. Okay. Should chop a bit off them. It's now a dead tree. Shh, not stick. Dead tree. Here's another one. Maybe put it at an angle. I'm going to chop this up. Be fall in there somewhere. Oh. Let's cut it off so that's a point. This moss is quite tough. There we go. Over Cletus <laughs> and put that there. I think. Do a twig? Yeah. That's a sort of Halloween y thing to it, I suppose. Maybe chuck a few more dead bits of wood in here. Because, of course, there's nothing to do with Halloween, it's just to do with ice spots. So, chuck a few in, like that. See what else I've got here? Yeah, another one. Chuck it in here. And, probably about doing that, to be honest. Doesn't need to be too fantastic. There you go. Let's see how this very, very simple thing looks like under its new light. Just like Islander, there could be only one. So, what we've got here, Paseleo Skava, Ghost Morph. So let's put these guys in here. See how they like their new house. There we go. That's all of them. Cool.
That was fun. All right, this was super simple, super quick. And actually it was fun as well. I just used whatever moss I had hanging around, a few bits of twigs and stone, and of course a pumpkin. You could replace that with any old bit of plastic pumpkin from the supermarket or whatever, or I don't know, maybe some little gravestones. I've seen them on eBay, but I just couldn't be bothered waiting for them to arrive and uh, I had the pumpkin, so why not let's get on with it? Well, I hope you enjoyed that. It was fun for me. And uh, if you did, give us a like and subscribe. I'll see you next time with whatever I take to my fancy. Adios.